Good Friday morning. I hope you're having a wonderful start to yet another beautiful day that the Lord has graced us with. And happy All Saints Day. Yeah. In another version of the Bible where it refers to saints in Psalms 31, 23, it says all godly ones. And let me read Psalms 31, 23. Since today is November 1st, happy first day of the month. And then we will go to let's see Psalms 1 and 31, pretty much the same Psalms that we went over yesterday because the 31st day and the first day pretty much duplicates itself except for the first uh, chapter. But in Psalms 31, 23, it says, Oh, love the Lord, all ye his saints. Saints, that's right. His believers, his followers, the ones who name the name of the Lord as their high tower, as their fortress, as their rock, as their everything. For the Lord preserveth the faithful. Oh, yes, he does. And plentifully rewardeth the proud doer. So in the meantime, when we go back to battle, be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart. All ye that hope in the Lord. I was just uh, hearing on uh, national public radio how they were saying they re resurrected and put in new leaders for ISIS. And they counted the, the death of their leader last week as he died as a martyr and his spokesperson. Oh, there's no type of terror that will come to God's saints and his children because he protects us. And of course, in Psalms 91, we know that we are to continually make sure that he is our refuge in verse nine. We have made him his uh, our refuge even the most high, thy habitation. So even though we might have a address, a house, our habitation is the Lord's spirit. And because of that, there shall no evil be around our plague. It shall not befall us, neither, neither any sickness nor disease around our house, nigh thy dwelling. Okay, these are uh, old King James Version way of speaking. Anyway, there shouldn't be anything bad that comes near your house. The Lord will protect you. And we are at peace for whatever the Lord will allow in our lives. Amen. Bottom line. Second Chronicles 13. It's talking about how King Jeroboam uh, began to reign and Abijah of, of Judah uh pretty much the two of them had a war and Abijah was like, you know what? You're going to lose because you have departed from the Lord. See, we have kept the Lord as our leader. It says in verse six, Jeroboam, son of Nebat, the servant, risen up and rebelled against his Lord. And he started, you know, having these golden calves and these gods in verse eight. And mm -mm, no, but in verse 12, behold, God himself is with us. Our captain is God your captain today. Yes, he is. If you are his saint and his priest with sounding trumpets to cry alarm against you for ye, look, he was like, you know what? You're not going to win. You're not going to prosper. Has the Lord told you not to do something saying you're not going to prosper in this. You need to hold up. You better take heed because you want the Lord's deliverance. So pretty much it came to pass that God smote Jeroboam and Israel before Abijah and Judah. Because like I said, he turned his gans, he turned his back against the Lord. And the children of Israel fled before Judah and God delivered them into their hand. And Abijah and his people slew them with a great slaughter. Thus the children of Israel were brought under at that time. Because the children of Judah, they re relied upon the Lord of their fathers. Who are you relying on today, saints of God? Are you relying on your strength or people's uh, good word of you or your network? Or are you relying on the strength of the Lord? That's what happens when you're a saint. I was somewhere recently and 
I kept on uh, receiving no's. I was asking someone, well, several people, well, can you, you know, keep this for me? You know, because I'm in an official building and I couldn't bring something in the building. And it was something innocent, but they're like, no, you can't do it. I went to five people, but the Lord said, no, Michelle, just wait, just wait. Just keep on asking. And I was like, oh my goodness. And I, and I had to be somewhere at a certain time. Well, the sixth person I went to, the Lord led me to this room. He said, this person. And I went up to him. And even before I asked, he was like, ah, the Lord set it up. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll keep it for you. And he hid it away. And I asked his name. I always ask people's name because I want to include them. And his name was Jordan. Mm? The Lord parted that Jordan River. Huh? Come on. The Lord will do that for his saints today. He will preserve those who are faithful to him because he will be faithful to them likewise as we put our trust in him. Hallelujah. So have a wonderful All Saints Day. Bless the Lord with all your might and your soul and pray for us who are going back to the schools that our children will, oh my goodness, be thankful for all the things that God has given us. Have a great Friday and all, all saints day in the Lord. Enjoy.